Welcome Hi. to the Proper Weekly webinar. So today, I know that uh, we have Natalia, who is the CEO of Proper, you know, somebody, a woman that I highly respect and have been working with. And, you know, there's so much we need to share today. And also, our great friend, Susie uh, Trex from EXP. She is the only woman that sits on the board of director for this fantastic virtual, uh, you know, brokerage that has been groundbreaking um, in so much of what you do. So we have a lot to cover today. And for those of you who are joining us for the first time, uh, this is a weekly webinar that we have and that we explore, you know, interesting things that, you know, how to help agents become, you know, be able to do their business online, making it a lot easier with technology because property is a technology, a real estate technology company, but also bringing you incredible speakers to share insights and different things that we think that are truly in interesting. And today we're going to be talking about Silicon Valley companies and the tech industry and what, you know, Natalia and I have seen uh, between the two that could perhaps help brokers, but also really help tech companies too, because we don't always know it all, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then we're also going to be talking to Susie over at EXP, and we have something super, super special, which is we have a, a property team uh, you know, room built in virtual reality on Verbella that we are going to take all of you into together. And so this is why I have my background, you know, this is me and my virtual reality going down my driveway, right? So, <laughs> so let's get started. Um, so, you know, I really uh, want to ask or to begin with, uh, you know, oh, before we get started, so the format of today is we're going to do just questions and a Q and A. Please put your questions into the comment. And if you are seeing us on Twitter, on Facebook, or on YouTube, which are, and, and LinkedIn, which we're all live streaming from, please put your questions into the chat box on those. We actually, in our background here, have the property team that is checking all of these questions. So that send it so that we can answer it. And then lastly, at the, of course, at the end of every single webinar, we do a quick demo to tell you what we think the future is looking like and where you know transactions are going. So without further ado, I wanted to uh, really ask, like, you know, Natalia and Susie, what do you guys think right now? Like, what do you think is happening and how does it feel currently to you and you know, as it relates to real estate and technology? Uh, let us know uh, what you're thinking as we start here. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Alex, for organizing this amazing webinar. And Susie, it's amazing to see you here. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, the way we see the future, we're trying as an entrepreneur, we're trying to be optimistic, right? Uh, we said the real estate uh, industry, it's really hard to be locked uh, two months already. Uh, and we, uh, many industry leaders have this fear that uh, the real estate industry could be um, influenced, impacted by those 20 million uh, unemployed people and the rate is, is increasing, but we're very hopeful. We're very hopeful that it's temporarily, that now we're starting to open up. And this short period of time, which uh, seemed to be uh, like a year or two, and that is changing our behavior, also seemed to make brokerages and agents to think about how we actually do transactions, how we do sales entirely online, remotely, and how we can bring value to uh, consumers, to the customers. So I think this period was quite creative for all of us to think differently. So let's just be optimistic and uh, see how we can turn this uh, negative outcome into something positive. Um, I, I love what you said, Natalia. Yeah, and just to piggyback on that. Hi, everybody, by the way, from um, here in Silicon Valley, uh, California. Um, but I am, I'm networked with 28,000 agents around the country, plus I belong to some uh, women investment groups that have you know, 30,000 women in the group. And the good news is business is still happening. I've, I, um, I'm about to put one of my flip projects on the market, and I you know, took the pulse of 
all the women in the group and they said they've been putting their properties up and selling properties with multiple offers. And this is in every market. So um, I think that, you know, no one has a crystal ball as to what's going to happen six months from now. Of course, there's probably going to be, uh, I like the, uh, I won't name the big a web company. It's not the one we all dislike, um, but they predicted that there was going to be a two to 3% uh, price reduction over the next 18 months. And I think that seems fair. We have such, we've had limited inventory all around the country, but the great thing for agents taking this time is to really learn how to pivot to doing business in a non-traditional way, having to do virtual tours, virtual. I mean, we already have virtual staging. I, I've been a, a remote working agent since basically 2003. It's gotten a lot easier since the smartphone and things like that. But you know, my, we're information purveyors. Why do we need to be physically in an office every day when our real job is to be a, a source of knowledge and expertise for our customers? And we get that by consuming information and, and sort of translating data into actionable insights. So I, I, I've, I've been doing this all along. Not so much the Zoom thing, though I've been doing that for a couple of years now, but you know, my office is in the cloud. We'll, uh, you know, maybe we'll take a look at that later. Yeah, I, I yeah, I, I will say that I think uh, Natalia and I live on Zoom. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> not anymore. Not after. <laughs> Maybe not after this. But uh, you know, let's. Uh, I do want before we get into virtual reality and show each of us, you know, not looking like we do, but uh, with our avatars, uh, Natalia, I. I really am always interested in where you see, because you have such a breadth of experience in the tech world and now working with brokers, where do you see, and I know you kind of prepared something, can you go over with us uh, what you see as similarities and where you see the differences between the two and where we can learn from each other? I'm actually going to just show and share the audience just a little bit um, of it. So can you sh share that with us? Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's go to the next slide. And uh, I'm coming from first engineering uh, background, uh, but then I used to run a large uh, operations in real estate development. So I would used to construct properties, sell them cross borders in Europe. And then um, also I had a small brokerage a firm with agents uh, selling our properties as well as uh, our properties uh, around us. And so I had this opportunity to observe uh, uh, the life of a company in a traditional business, as well as four years ago, I moved to Silicon Valley to launch Proppy. And thus uh, I had uh, this, this opportunity to, to compare uh, what's the difference between the traditional business and Silicon Valley startup business. And also as we're selling property primarily to brokerages and home builders now, uh, in the last eight months, I talked to a number of small brokerages and large public companies to their CEOs, CTOs. And basically I see uh, this amazing focus on culture in both Silicon Valley startups and brokerage business. Uh, agents are amazing entrepreneurs. Uh, this was my realization that every single agent, every single small or large brokerage, they have this entrepreneurial culture. They really focus on empowering people, incentivizing them, motivating them. Transparency is the king, uh, as well as uh, ethics uh, and communication between the team. So this is the great similarity between the tech startup and brokerage and even the, the agent, individual agent mindset. Then also I'm noticing that uh, both tech startups and real estate brokerages have this agile infrastructure, how to move, especially now we have this proof with the coronavirus situation where brokerages were very, very quick. They were very ethical uh, to adapt to the change. Uh, we saw very small amount of unethical behavior and they were immediately published everywhere so that we stopped and uh, the majority of agents were really uh, helping to the local communities. Um, the, their marketing strategy entirely um, changed. And then uh, the growth, of course, with Silicon Valley startups uh, approach, we need to grow very quickly. We're VC funded normally. And so we need to prove with numbers, very, very quick growth. While brokerages, it tends, uh, 
to, to go more to a stable growth rather than uh, scaling very quickly. And for how to scale uh, quickly for brokerages, I will actually uh, discuss this later today, how to automate the back end and make the growth scalable uh, in cases where brokerages are really growing fast. And then um, Alex, we discussed with you on prep call yesterday that this, this is an interesting aspect of uh, the mission of for brokerages and for startups. It seems like in startups, we tend to solve something for tomorrow, uh, for the future. Uh, we envision the future as it, is, it, as it already happened. And so we're building tools or products uh, for really not only short term solving the pains, but also to transform the industry. Uh, while brokerages are focusing on local markets and, and helping uh, consumers, buyers and sellers today. And I guess the main feature of tech startups is uh, the interest in innovation and cutting edge technologies. And today we will talk about blockchain, AI and VR, how those technologies are applicable to real estate. Uh, while uh, I feel after numerous uh, conversations with brokerages that they are pretty overwhelmed by tech. There are so many tools that could potentially um, solve their problems, but they have to try them all in order to actually see if it works for them or not. So, but at the same time, they really want to be innovative and they do try all those tech tools. They uh, try to automate the transaction. So, so that's, that's amazing to observe and we're trying to help as much as we can on our end. Well, let's talk about, I mean, I think that's great. Um, I really like what you said about, and we talk about this all the time, is that, you know, how tech companies are really, you know, solving uh, problems of the future and real estate brokers are so bombarded with solving the issues of today, like, they, you know, houses that need to get sold today, clients that need to be helped. And then, uh, you know, so, so I really think it's a balance of the two that really makes a successful company. Um, can you share with us uh, some of the tools that, we, that you, you've used or you see tech companies using or, uh, to really help? And, and the reason why we talk about this is, you know, really sharing with agents and brokers some of our own tools to perhaps help them with what they're doing in their business as well. Yeah, absolutely. So as a, a startup, we uh, have to use a number of tools. And I do believe that broker owners also can look at those tools and, and see if they will be available for them. For communication, obviously, uh, we use Skype and Zoom. Uh, and we normally do Skype for weekly day, uh, weekly calls uh, because it, it just incentivizes everyone and reminds that there is a uh, call happening. You don't have to copy the link and go there. But in fact, your phone is ringing and you know that your team is waiting there. Uh, then Telegram was very, very helpful. It's very simple tool to just communicate with messages, creating tool, uh, creating groups, Asana for task management and Slack. Then as for sales, uh, we use HubSpot as CRM and brokerages today uh, have uh, a number of real estate focused CRMs uh, and CRMs are very helpful. So for those who are not still using CRMs, uh, research um, tools like uh, Boomtown, for example. And then um, in order to do all the reportings and uh, um, analysis, we still use Excel and a number of other tools. Uh, then the big differentiator between the startup um, approach is, uh, and uh, brokerage is also utilizing tools for business intelligence. And I guess we're using about 30 different tools. There are many, but those that uh, could stand out in your daily work, um, it's email tracking because sometimes you're talking to a very important customer and you even don't know if they opened email, did they click the link you sent, how active they are. And actually today you can uh, track the email opens either via your CRM or uh, specific tools. And you can be reminded also about, by those uh, tools if someone didn't open your email for a week. Uh, then we also use document tracking with DocSend. It helps you to understand who opened your presentation and who didn't, whether they were active, did they go through the entire uh, document or not. Then we utilize Otter for voice recognition and transcript, very helpful tool. Uh, and ABM, account-based um, marketing tool, um, which allows us to understand 
what actually our users are looking uh, on internet, what they're browsing, uh, what are their pain points. So these are the items that I think uh, could be helpful for other business owners. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's a tech startup or real estate brokerage. Yeah, you know, my favorite is the ABM tool. Um, you know, one of the things that we use at Proppy very often because we are an enterprise sell solution is that you did you know, brokers and agents, you can track what you, uh, your potential customers are looking for um, in keywords. Uh, you know, if they're in like a certain group, uh, you know, it could be, you know, a divorce attorneys. What, when are they looking for a real estate agent? If they type in real estate agent in Google, you're going to know. Wouldn't it be a good time for you to call them <laughs> or send them a package, right? I mean, those are, and so th those are the types of things I think about when I think about the tools that we use at Proppy that could very well translate into tools that, you know, agents and brokers can use as well. So I, I really like that ABM tool. And, and the other one is uh, like email tracking, uh, Natalia, which is when you send them a listing, uh, you know, pre-packaged, did they open it? How many times did they open it? I, I, Natalia tells me all the time, this person's opened it 10 times. We need to like, call them. Right. So it, it's stuff like that. So, uh, so what about, uh, so before we get into Verbella, um, you know, I, I think that's the next thing that we're going to get into right now. Susie, tell us how, you know, wh what your experience has been on Verbella and why you use it and, you know, and so tell excited. us a bit more about that. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, two things I want to add to our tools that we use. Uh, you know, I'm all about what is the easiest, most frictionless, because us as agents have usually 900 things we're supposed to be doing. So, um, I love Trello. I know you guys use Asana. Trello is free and it's super graphic where you could just take it. It's like post-it notes within, you know, project management and you can add people to different um, post-it note cards. So if you run a team or even if you have sellers that need to be doing certain tasks, you can, everybody can see what's happening. I love Trello, super easy to use. And then our CRM that we use is uh, KV Core. It's a consumer facing website that has IDX integration. And then it's a CRM on the back end, and it has enormous things you can do with it. So it's more than a regular CRM. The best CRM to use is the one that you're going to use. So um, that's my thoughts on that. Um, anyway, uh, Verbella. So a little background. Uh, EXP has been in existence for over 10 years. And we are not the first virtual um, real estate company because there was one zip realty which you know maybe was just an idea before it's time but the the key differentiator with us is that we have this uh cloud campus which is actually we're, we're going to take a look at a similar feature but in october of 2018 exp we were we were verbella's largest customer and we said hey we need to own our different differentiator so we purchased verbella the software company in October of 2018. At that time, they had a couple of other customers besides us, um, big company with deep pockets called the Department of Defense. Um, you know, there's uh, the University of, um, I'm sorry, Stanford Business School is using it for their international students because they can, you can meet in an auditorium. Um, I saw Singularity University too. Yes, yeah, Singularity mm -hmm. University. And we've got a ton and ton of other people looking at it, obviously. COVID has made this way more attractive. Um, we've had uh, some talks with other major, major universities. And so anyway, so I, I, what I love about working in my cloud campus is, uh, again, as I mentioned before, I don't, I'm not the person who's, I've run real estate brokerages that were physical bricks and mortar brokerages. And I've been interviewed before uh, where people have said, Susie, what, you know, if you were to give advice to a broker owner, to improve productivity and profitability in their company. And my answer was, you know, jokingly, get rid of your water cooler, meaning agents, it's great, we're all super friendly, that's why we do what we do for a living. But standing around talking to your fellow agents isn't gonna improve your bottom line. So from a productivity standpoint, I'm on with my clients all day, I'm on the phone or on the email or texting with my clients or personally, not when this is happening, but if I have to go to the office to get a question answered, to see where my documents might need to go, to get some marketing help, if I can do all that from the, uh, you know, my computer or even my phone, um, 
that's just so much more efficient. And for me, from a profitability standpoint, the less time I have to sit in traffic, if I don't have to get, if I don't have yeah. to get dressed up to go to the office. Mm -hmm. So all, everything you need to run your brokerage and run your business exists in that cloud space. Well, and just for folks that are not from eXp, like yep. this is also a tool that you can use for your team. You don't have oh. to be on eXp in order to do it. Uh, no. So, so let's uh, go through and take a look. Um, I'm going to share my screen and we are going to the Proppy private room now. And uh, let's, let's get in there and just show the attendees and everybody that's on live stream right now uh, what it looks like. Hold on one second. Can everybody see? Can everybody see me? Yeah. Yay. Yes, we can see you, Alex. I should so be somewhere here, there too. <laughs> yes, so here we are. This is our proppy room. There's Natalia, there's Susie, and these we have some of our proppy folks here just hanging out. I got Dennis here from our marketing team who's making sure that our television is on. Um, we can do all sorts of things here. Um, if you guys can hear me. Hey, yeah. everybody. Is there yes, feedback? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. So let's just take a tour uh, around what the proppy, uh, you know, private room looks like. So I'm just going to go here. I think, I think, Alex, you need to mute the Verbella mic or, or Susie, maybe you need to mute. Uh, I'm yeah, muted. I'm muted. Ah, okay. Got it. Is it better? Yes. Okay. No, perfect. So um, we, we don't have the audio on Verbella, but we can actually talk to each other. So I'm just going to talk everyone through this right now. So there's Susie right there and there's me. I mean, you can literally go in here and I can dance. So here I am dancing. <laughs> this is one of my favorite. <laughs> and, and what I, I caught, I, and I got to spend, oh, there, there's another, yeah. Dennis is dancing. Dennis is dancing too. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the proppy. Um, what I like about this is if I turn around, and this is my company, this is the proppy private room, right? And what I like about this is I can play this right here. And this right here is really this is like the weekly webinar for Proppy. So, you know, you can come into the room and you can see what's happening in Proppy. You can see the weekly webinar, uh, you know, and as we go into the rooms, you can see, uh, you know, this is probably a poster of uh, our weekly webinar from, from the week before. So that's our webinar from two weeks ago. Uh, we can walk around there. There you are, Natalia. And then... Yeah. There. Yeah, I'm just I'm just uh, looking at the Q and A. Uh, we have a question from Sondra, so the the answer is Verbella, and I will type uh, how it's spelled. And if anybody has any questions on this, um, I'm going to put my email address in here. For any, this is uh, even though that's my EXP Realty. This uh, team space is available to any company, any school. Um, it's not, it's not just EXP Realty. Like I mentioned before, there's tons of companies that are using this and they can customize it. We're actually, I'm just about to ink the contract. Uh, as you know, so many of people's events, major events are canceled. And, um, one of the major real estate events is going to be held in our event space here over three days. And, um, uh, because their the organization had to cancel their events. We have a, an entire expo center. Your vendors can be there. Uh, it's super interesting. And also, just to point out where Alex is walking past that light blue glowing space, you can go into inside that glowing area and have a private conversation, meaning if you're sitting inside there, people can walk by. They cannot hear anything you're saying. If you're in your office, the same thing happens. So... It's completely so private. So we are right now in a, a proppy meeting room. And as you can see, there's like a daily tip there that, you know, focus on savings and things like that. What I like about it is instead of a whiteboard, you turn around and look, you can do your entire meeting here. This is like the largest whiteboard. I can go in here and I can type in something. I could say, okay, I want to look for, let's say, proppy. <laughs> let's go into proppy. And here, uh, 
website and we can do a whole entire demonstration on property right here, right in our meeting room. And so it, let's say I'm talking to people about uh, you know, anything, I could go in and, and just do it right here. And so here, so this is, you know, you can have a bunch of people in this particular meeting room, have a private conversation. Uh, there's Dennis right there who, probably, who set up this meeting room. So thank you, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to walk out of here. And, and, so here and actually, I wanted just to add that when, uh, uh, when I reached out to Susie to, to try this out, and actually I also asked for a discount for one month free trial, I really wanted to see how I can communicate with the different team members and different departments. So we have a sales department, we have a marketing de department, and uh, customer success. And I imagine them to work in groups in some of those rooms and just going in, in those rooms and, and communicate with the team members uh, per uh, divided per per teams without distracting the the entire team. So that's that's actually how I see the future. Really, it's it's almost like going to a physical office where you can sneak to any of your colleagues, share your knowledge right away. Um, I I uh, though would say that I'm looking forward the design to be uh, a little bit better. The avatar building is cool, but I feel like uh, I I know that there are some. Some updates uh, will be upcoming where you can share your video uh, with your face, uh, talking and speaking. And so I know that the design and the, uh, the user experience of getting on board is, is still not ideal. But what is really uh, streamlined is uh, this communication, uh, this ability to meet your people in groups. People that I really admire and you know, that um, Sherry Chris, who is Okay. I think uh, so. Here we have, and, and so you can do all sorts of stuff that you see me there uh, sitting. And, you know, this is just really for us to demonstrate, you know, what's happening and, uh, you know, how you do it. So I'm going to do my dance really quick. Does anybody want to dance with me? <laughs> okay, guys, let's uh, get ready. We're going to have a quick dance party here. Uh, so one, two, three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is the proppy just dancing in our proppy room here, and we're there. There we go. <laughs> and Dennis is doing the moonwalk. <laughs> cool. All right. There. That is what uh, virtual reality looks like, and what you know, with all three of us in. Um, and. And what I like about this is that, you know, it, it really is uh, for teams, like you don't have to go to a big campus and get lost in it. And so this was just to really demonstrate that. Um, so Alex, let's, can yes. I just, uh, one more thing I'd love to mention, you know, people don't think about it this way. When you, if you have a, uh, t you know, previously bricks and mortar location for your business and you want to go virtual, you can go virtual and, ha and know that your team is working. I know that a lot of business owners worry about what are my employees doing at home? Are they actually getting the work done? Well, if they're there on site and you can see them in their office, chances are they're actually doing work. So I, most people that I've spoken to see the productivity go up by uh, using this kind of platform. Got it. Good so, point. That's a great point. So uh, let's talk about the future, right? Um, and you know where we see the future. And I, um, and I wanted to uh, probably throw this to uh, Natalia. Uh, you know, I think that you know we all have being technologists, right? Uh, we all have a very distinct uh, idea of where we think the future is. And um, so, Natalia, can you tell us where you think? The future is and i know susie you shared with us that you think it's you know virtual brokerage but you know where do you think the future is uh, natalia yeah absolutely i'd love to cover a little bit more about blockchain and ai here because it's definitely an inevitable part of our future uh, and uh, probably susie will have a lot to share on uh, that part of uh, the technology as well and then i want to also share how we see the future of brokerages how we see their back and uh, back office automated um, so regarding blockchain um, as as many of you know we do not talk anymore about blockchain 
actively, especially now uh, during the coronavirus where the main po pain point is how we can uh, do a transaction entirely online and remotely. And uh, many broker owners and home builders, their management team is just overwhelmed. And blockchain seems to be something really complicated. So we are, um, backed and enabled by blockchain and smart contracts uh, when we automate the transaction. However, we just don't talk with this language. So in every single transaction that is being processed the, uh, via Propy, uh, there are smart contracts that are enabled by tokens. So there are tokens uh, that are uh, involved in every single transaction, uh, but users don't know about that. And we actually want to get back into the blockchain use cases in about a year or two. We envision that we will have those use cases with brokerages where one single organization will have zero wire fraud cases. They will have half of the time spent on transaction closing. So we will be able to prove uh, that blockchain and smart contracts helped us to achieve those items with uh, KPIs with metrics or uh, with uh, uh, quantified uh, proof. Um, so that's, that's the exciting part about blockchain, uh, which is the main characteristics again is immutability. So we utilize that part. As for the AI, um, there are tons of uh, cases where AI and machine learning is already being utilized in real estate industry. And the good news is that you, as an agent or broker owner, you don't have to know anything about this. You just utilize the tools. Two examples here. Uh, one is we're at Proppy starting to use machine learning uh, and recognition of uh, uh, of letters and, and speech um, when we uh, work on transaction documents. So our aim is to make transaction documents and audits uh, really like self-driving. And here we're sharing sell, how to make a transaction really self-driving. AI definitely will help here. And the second uh, example with AI um, is those apps that can actually recognize uh, and make analysis of pictures of properties. They can evaluate <clears throat> even the, the properties, not only by the uh, data points, but also by uh, recognition of uh, objects on the picture. So that's a cool one and uh, I encourage you to look for it. And so if we go to this uh, slide, what uh, we're doing at Proppy uh, in order to get to this uh, bright okay. future for, for real estate. No worries, Alex. So our goal here at Proppy is really to make one transaction self-driving. And at the same time, to make the back office of one brokerage or agent business automated as much as we can. And to do so, we introduced three products and we basically separate them uh, recently. That's an offer management, and it's a really unique product that can uh, drive more revenue, can help agents uh, win more listings. Uh, we don't see anything like that on the market today. Uh, then it's, uh, it's a consumer transaction interface. This is our second product. It's enabled by smart, uh, smart contracts. That's the major innovation at Proppy. We basically just help the buyer, the seller, and their agent to go through the entire transaction and make it very simple and transparent. Um, and then finally, the transaction management piece. This one is, I'm sure, is very familiar to the agents and brokers uh, because uh, there are other players in that third uh, part of what we're doing. And our differentiator here is uh, the design, the user experience, uh, user interface that is very straightforward, uh, very innovative uh, with uh, all those um, uh, necessary tools like audits the files, checklists, merge and split the uh, PDFs and so on. And we're doing it in a very, very cost effective way. So these are the three products. And I know that we will touch base on one of them today after uh, this panel discussion. And then next week we will go through a full demo on the first product, the offer management. So this is how we uh, envision to empower the future of real estate, really to build the tech for agents and consumers. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. I, so thank you for sharing that. I think um, a lot of times, you know, we do these webinars and 
you know, uh, and so I really wanted Natalia, uh, you know, what properties the future is, because a lot of times I, I uh, ask brokers what they see the future as. And uh, Susie, you're familiar. Where do you see the future, um, especially now that we're going, you know, more people are amenable to using technology? And where do you see the future of the real estate transaction? Yeah, I mean, Alex, thank, that's such a great question. Um, I really feel like it's been, uh, uh, you know, it's probably been a little painful for, you know, our industry, the average age, I think the last time I saw was 53 years old. Um, but I really, I, I'm working and have agents on my team who are millennials who have degrees from Columbia University and they're not willing to do door knocking in the, in the way that we all, you know, the old way of doing business. They're adapting to advertising on YouTube for c clients and customers. And they are, the millennials are the bulk of the population now. So we, if we want to survive in this business, uh, we have to start adapting to these technology tools. Um, you know, some of it's about sustainability. I'm here in the Bay Area and our disclosure packets can be a thousand pages. I've run brokerages where the agents were printing those disclosure packages out and there were multi offers. So it might've been five or six times that their buyer was making an offer and they printed every single one of those pages out. I mean, it's just absolutely crazy. And, you know, to me, I think it's been a great um, learning experience for agents. Un unfortunately, you know, because of the pandemic, they had to learn how to do business. Agents are still thriving throughout this and the agents who adapt to the tools who are willing to do Zoom meetings. I had a, a gal who did an actual Zoom listing presentation in Pennsylvania because up until this week, Pennsylvania was completely shut down. Real estate was non-essential. Non so um, I just think using these kind of tools, using the property uh, platform, I loved what Natalia was telling me about, you know, we're gonna have multiple offers. How do we as agents put that in a, you know, an easy to use, easy to read for our sellers or even ourselves to compare side by side each one of these offers. These tools, they're not going to go, they're not going away. And so I think it's adapt or you will not survive. Right, right. So, th well, thank you so much uh, for joining. Uh, like I said, uh, in, I really, you know, believe that what we're all saying is true and you know for the folks that are joining us on this webinar i think you know you hear it as a mantra we've heard it from the top real estate brokers and executives in the industry i remember interviewing sherry chris and mauricio and john arrow and you know so much of it has to be about adoption and and you know right now the consumers are asking for instant and, you know, one of the things that I really feel strongly uh, about being instant is, you know, having tools like offer management, um, tools like having Verbella, like you shouldn't have to drive or call, you should walk in and say, hey, I need help with my commission disbursement now, you know, and be able right. to ask that, you know, you should just be, you know, people just really want to see things at the tip of their fingers on the computer and after COVID, I think it's just gonna be more than ever because people are receptive to getting this information from home. And so, uh, so I mean, listen, guys, this is actually my first time on Verbella. I got on Verbella for the first time, our virtual reality, on the, for the first time yesterday. And so, so this was all new to me. And so everything you saw me demonstrate right now has been something that I learned in the past, like few hours. So if I could do it, anybody can do it, right? And then, and then the other thing is, um, so I really want to go through and like we always do as we start to close out, oh, let's ask for a couple of questions and then I'm going to close out. I'm going to show you a little bit of what we're going to be doing with our demo afterwards because a lot of times right after we're going to say goodbye to our guests and we're for those of you who are interested in some of the things we're talking about, um, you know, and doing a demo, we can also do a demo on what we're talking about when we talk about, you know, the future of transactions, smart contracts, and, you know, having a collaborative um, effort in how we do transactions. Um, so I have a question here. Uh, how do you guys automate transactions? Um, and, what, and what part of the transaction does Proppy uh, automate? Um, and how does that differ from other platforms? So this question is probably to you, Natalia. What, if you can uh, answer that. 
Yeah, absolutely. The way we automate the transaction is we're allowing the buyer, the seller, the title agent, and of course, two realtors to get on one secure platform. And then they are guided through the process, step by step, very, very simple, simplified uh, interface for all the parties. And they basically just go from the offer, through the payment, uh, through all disclosures, signing, till the very end, the deed recording. And the unique part of what we're doing that everything on the back end, on the infrastructural level is powered by settlement protocol. And we see the future where all those transaction documents and data will flow to the e-recording and e-recording will be happening automatically without the need of manual work. There, is no, there won't be a need for escrow agent to call the bank and see if the funds are there. It will be available by the, by the technology. E-recording will be happening and enforced by availability of e-signatures on the, all the documents, availability of the proof of the payment. So this is what we are very, very passionate about. But in order to get there, we are doing this transaction in a pretty traditional way, just in one secure a platform in one secure environment. So I encourage everyone to sign up for a free trial and test it out with your real transactions. I want to give a plug here. Um, I mentioned earlier that, I, well, I'm the most efficient. I used to call myself the laziest real estate agent anybody ever met, but someone <laughs> told me I was efficient. I don't like to get bogged down in learning. You know, we're doing 900 things at once. I don't want to learn a new software. I need to be able to use things, you know, even when there's a change in DocuSign that drives me crazy. And I will say that uh, the Proppy platform is clean and so easy to use. There's no learning curve. I, in fact, I love, love that Natalia is a, an engineer first and a real estate developer second because only an engineer could create a real estate product that's that clean and you know speaks speaks to the ease of use. So if anyone's thinking of it, it's am it's amazing and no uh, no learning curve whatsoever. Verbella is harder to use than Propia. <laughs> well, thank, thank you, you Susie. So with that, I think we're actually running out of time. I'm actually going to just uh, close up right here and uh, tell the audience a little bit about what is coming up next. So, you know, first of all, thank you so much for all your questions. So if you, if you can stay with us, we're gonna go through a little bit after we say goodbye to our guests um, of the plat property platform. And what I mean by that is some of the smart contracts and the collaboration that we're talking about and our you know, newest interface, which is more of what the consumer is gonna see. So for the first time ever, the consumer can actually follow along on their transaction, making you look spectacular agents and brokers. Um, and then of course, you know, this is just for anybody that's tuning in or seeing us on live. These are all the past webinars that we have started doing ever since COVID happened, which has been a smashing success. And so what we have here is, you know, every, if you want these recordings, please leave a message here or send us a quick um, message. It could be in private remarks, but you know, it's everything from Josh Hurley, who runs like 4,400 agents for the past decade decade online, um, everything from PPP and who uh, we have, you know, Rob Hahn and Tammy Bunnell, like they give us great insights on P&Ls and brokers and what you should be looking for. Uh, we have indie brokers and uh, Courtney and Jackie who are doing, I think they put almost a hundred deals into contract in the past five, six weeks alone. So, you know, they're kicking butt and they're, they tell you how to do it so we can send you that recording. Um, everything from Tom Trung to Katie Lance on marketing. And of course, Mauricio, Sherry Chris, and John Arrow on running uh, brokerage and how they are expanding their brokerage. This is the time mergers and acquisition are the key. And last week, um, talking to uh, the head of global uh, you know, international business development and also the biggest developer in the United States, Lennar Real Estate, a client of property, but then seeing you know, foreign investments and how to get into that market. And of course, we have this one here as well with Susie Trex and um, Natalia Carneva and also talking to them about the similarities of you know, how to run 
something virtual and startup business in Silicon Valley um, and a virtual reality. Uh, if any of those uh, you know, recordings, please let us know here and we will make sure that we send that to you um, and to you as well. And so I'm actually going to give uh, my speakers here any last words uh, before we close out the session and uh, go into demos. Any last words, Susie, can you give us a few hey. last words? Hey, my last words are hang in there, everybody. It's, gonna, it's getting better, it's gonna get better and stay healthy and well. And that's it. See y'all next time. Thank you, awesome. And Michelle's giving out her email as well, so that if any, it sounds like she's from EXP. So anybody who wants to, oh, got it. So she wants to also get this video. You got it, Michelle. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, Sandra. Uh, she also wants the recording as well. So uh, you know, panelists are getting a lot of requests for recordings. So uh, there you go. Uh, Natalia, last words? Yeah, absolutely. Stay positive, build stuff, and try uh, all the technologies you are able to spend time on. All right. Well, thank you so much, and thank you for joining us. We're actually going to go. Oh, yeah. I'm going to actually start setting up for the demo. So for our attendees, if you want to stay for the demo, give me a second here, and I'm going to share my screen, and we can go from there. Hold on one second. So, give me a second here. Uh, sorry, my demo is about to be up. Sorry, it had to get refreshed. And then we're going to go into it. Give me one second, folks. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go get into the demo. So make sure that for the folks that are staying with us for the demo portion here, uh, please uh, go ahead and, and you know we will be monitoring the chat. So at any time, if you have questions, go ahead and ask me questions, whether you're on any of the other platforms. So today, what we're gonna be going through is a little bit of what, what our panelists were talking about. In the past, I went through offer management and how to give that transparency on how to manage offers before it goes into contract. Now, what we're gonna go through is how we manage offers or transactions and invite the parties into the transaction and where sellers can follow along on the property uh, platform. So here, sorry, let me make this full screen. I'm gonna turn this off. So we're gonna go through here and I'm just gonna quickly go through uh, offer management. Um, so offer management, uh, these are the three uh, product, property products, which is offer management, consumer interface, and the transaction uh, management. What we're gonna go through today is really the consumer interface. Um, and the consumer interface face are in a couple of sections. It is in the offer management section, which you will see uh, in offer management. This is where the buyer's agent makes the offer and it goes in to the transaction. Um, and then what I wanna show you today is this part right here. So once the offer is accepted by the listing agent, what you do then is it goes into the property transaction management uh, platform. And when you go in, uh, there's a screen here on property that shows you the consumer interface. And this is um, everything from the left-hand bar, the way you look at this is you can see the initial setup, you can see the purchase agreement, you can see the deposit. So this left-hand side is what you can share with your client where they can follow along and see what is happening in the transaction. Everything from the initial step to the purchase agreement, to the deposit receipt, uh, to the disclosure. And simply they would have to just click on this 
and they will see uh, the various documents. Here is the setup where you invite all the parties into the transaction so that you can, um, so that they can upload documents. Again, this eliminates the emailing of back and forth. What uh, does is that when the title company uploads the prelim, they are, or the uh, prelim, it just shows a disclosure. So no need for uh, emailing back and forth with the various parties creating potential mistakes. And then on the right hand side here, what we have is we have what um, agents and brokers would typically use. And this is again, the transaction history. This is the storage for the forms. This here is the checklist and this is the audit. So, you know, what we want to do here is just go through quickly just the invitation that goes to all the parties in the transaction, making property just very, a very user friendly and clean design, which is what we want to demonstrate here as well. So this is again, invitations to everybody who is entering into the transaction and the uploads are made super simple and easy. Um, so we're, here we're inviting title, buyer, seller, and we are integrated with DocuSign, so it makes it super easy to do. And then lastly, you can also see that the purchase contract is already in there because of offers. And here is uh, the title company dropping in the deposit receipt. Like in the past, you would have to call the title company and see where the deposit receipt is. And, and if you actually have a transaction here, the title company just simply drops the receipt in here into the transaction like that. And now everybody who clicks on deposit payment sees that it's been completed. It's as simple as that. And the same really goes for disclosures and closing statements and all that. So. So that's pretty much the quick demo. We try to make these demos pretty quick at the end because we know that everybody has uh, things to get to. So we do it a piece at a time. So if you have any questions, this would be a great time, um, you know, a great time for us to go through it. And so if anybody has any questions, I actually have a question here on, you know, whether or not participants, I think this is from Andy, um, the participants need to be invited into the transaction. Let's say your buyer and seller doesn't need to, be, they will be invited into the transaction, but they will not need accounts. So, um, so the question is, will my buyer and seller need to have logins in order to be on property? And the answer is no. They will not need to have logins in order to be invited into property. Uh, what we do is we enter in their email address and they will simply be sent um, DocuSign uh, documents for them to sign. So there will be no login for them to have to have, making it really easy. And the other question here is, does, does the seller, uh, can the seller follow along? And what if I don't want the seller to follow along? Okay, well, that's completely up to you, whether or not you uh, really share that with the seller. Um, it's a big uh, point right now, but again, uh, you know, this is again, uh, property is an open platform. And so we really give that power to the actual, the agent and whether or not you want to share. Um, can you talk more specifically on the trustee and title company? Okay, well, trustee, so that's a great question. Um, specifically on trustee and title company, property isn't here to replace title companies and trustee. We work alongside of them, um, you know, to make the transaction uh, a lot more seamless and a lot more collaborative, a uh, one platform with the, all the parties involved. So, you know, we do a lot of trainings with title companies. And what happens is that a lot of times these title companies don't want to disrupt uh, what they are um, doing with uh, their current workflow and probably doesn't do it. So doesn't do that. We're not a title company. We are not an escrow closing agent, but what we do do is make the transaction easier for that broker agent and ultimately the consumer. Um, so there's that as well. So uh, let's see. And so I, so hopefully that answers, answers your question, Diego. Thank you so much for the question. Um, and so I think that is, 
uh, pretty much what we have here. And again, you know, if you like the recording, if you like what you see, we are always looking for suggestions that you may have on, you know, what you want to see and future web webinars that we're doing. So uh, this is great uh, that you have these questions. And for those, uh, it seems like a lot of you stayed for the demo. Thank you so much for staying at the demo. And please, uh, you know, give us your feedback because that is always what we're striving to do is to make these webinars better. So thank you so much for joining us today. And, um, and we will go there. I actually see Natalia, you are actually on still. Um, let us know if there's any last words that you have and otherwise I'm actually going to sign off here. Yeah, thank you everyone uh, for coming to our webinar. Uh, we're looking forward to connect with you next week and next week will be all about dem demoing the full product of offer management and then the week after we'll have a special guest again. Uh, so looking forward to connect with you folks and thank you so much for being together here and sending all the questions. All, all right. the best to everyone. Bye, Bye. everyone. Take care. Bye.